there. My name is Crafty Kathy, and I want to thank you so much for stopping in and crafting and spending a little time with me today. Did you know that you can make some high-end DIYs and crafts out of those Dollar Tree gift boxes? You sure can, and I'm going to show you how in this video right here today. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below, and other than that, let's jump on in. For our very first DIY, I grabbed one of these gift boxes, and this one was actually in the regular section back where the gift boxes were, not where the Christmas items are. And as you see, it's kind of tall and slender, and we are going to make the cutest little gnome you've ever seen. I just grabbed one of these also from Dollar Tree foam trees, and we're going to glue that to the very top. And make sure that you put enough glue around the very edge of that because that's actually the part where the glue is going to be holding on the most. Then you're going to need some fabric, whatever fabric of your choice may be. I've got this homespun from Hobby Lobby. They do have fabric out at the Dollar Tree that is Christmas inspired and have some really cute Christmas prints. I like homespun because it just gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling all over at Christmas. And I like to, um, I like the fabric because you can make a little cut in it and make a good clean rip just by ripping it. And it gives it like a frayed organic look, which is very appealing to me. What you're going to do is take just your cone piece. You know, you don't need the whole um, bottle right now or the whole gift box. Go down to the very edge. You're going to leave yourself just a little bitty bit of overhang. Not much. You're not going to need much. And you're literally just going to roll it up to see how much fabric you're going to need. And then just make your cut. And in my case, I just made my cut and ripped it straight up the side. Then what you're going to do is start at the very back of your cone and you'll know where the back is because there's that little um, divide back there where they put the gift box, you know, the uh, covering together. So you'll see the little divide back there. You just put down your glue and then you're just going to glue him up. Take the very top of it, and we're going to make like a little pom-pom. At first, I was going to make like a little rounded type pom-pom, and I just used this small little elastic to tie it. But I really liked the primitive look of this just by kind of leaving it. It really reminded me of those old stockings that men used to wear on their head back years ago. Now go ahead and grab the fur of your choice. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's very inexpensive. If you don't want to run to Hobby Lobby, you can actually use the top off of one of the stockings from the Dollar Tree because it's fur. If you cut it off, you can use that as his beard. The easiest way to cut his beard is to use an X-Acto knife and to flip it over. That way you can see what you're doing and you don't have to fight with the hair. I wanted a long beard, and I love the idea of it being white because my box was red. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue right up underneath that hat and put my little beard right on the top there. I love it. And I realized that the bottom of my beard was not at an angle, which to me looks better. So I just kind of cut that off while I was holding it in my hands, and I'm loving this gnome. He actually turned out way better than I thought. I've got a half bead that I popped on his little nose, and now I'm just going to embellish him to finish him off. I got some of this gold color beaded garland from the Dollar Tree, and I thought this would look so good to finish off his little hat. I put a little bead of glue in the back and glue it down. I wind it around his hat and then one more little bit of glue at the top to hold it nice and secure. I'm going to use this little piece of holly that I purchased off of Amazon. And guys, these are the cheapest little looking holly that I've ever seen. And if I can make this gnome look good with this little cheap holly, don't you worry about what you embellish him with. I promise you it's going to look cute. So I just cut it apart and put two little leaves on there. And then I didn't like that the stems were showing, so I just clipped the little stems off. Then I took a little piece of this, it's like berry and garland together, 
and it came from Hobby Lobby. It was like maybe $2 for a little pack of it, and I cut a small piece of that off there and put it right between my little leaves, and I thought it would look so beautiful to finish this guy off with a rusted bell because he's kind of like a primitive Christmas gnome. And I think he is just as cute as buttons on britches. Let me know what you think about him. Our next DIY has a little bit more to it, but it turns out just as cute. We're gonna use one of these rounded gift boxes, and it is only about, I would just guess maybe around five inches tall, four or five inches tall. I'm gonna use some of this harder type of foam, and then we're gonna use these bamboo rings all from the Dollar Tree. The very first thing that I did was opened up my foam, and we are going to use both of these discs, so I'm just going to glue those two together. The next thing that I'm going to use is these ornaments, and they are the ones that have 15 in a pack. I would say that they're small, but they're not the smallest ones that Dollar Tree has. All you're going to do is just pull off the ends of them, and when you're able to see where it's gonna go into the foam, I kinda push it in to leave a little bit of an indention, and then I push the end of my hot glue gun into the foam because that's gonna create a small hole, and then I put glue all around the end of the ornament and just pop it right back in that little hole that I just created with my hot glue gun. It's very easy to do this way. I did this process all the way around my little foam ring, and I was using a gold, a silver, and then off of an old wreath that I had that I'm not going to use anymore, I found the red, and it was glittery, and I thought that it looked really good with these, and I wanted to add some red in there too, so I just alternated between those three different colors all the way around. And to make sure that your ornaments are exactly where you want them to be, I find it so much easier to do this when your piece of foam is setting down. That way you kind of know exactly where your ornament is going to sit. And when I got around to the end, I realized that I ran out of the glittered red ornaments, so I just had to make some. I had some of the red ornaments that were this size that didn't have glitter on there, so I just added a little bit of spray adhesive and some red Dollar Tree glitter so that it would all look cohesive. Then the next thing that I did was grab my box and I took off that twine off of the top. If you just flip your lid over, you can pull it off. That way you can save your twine. And then I just took a little bit of glue, put it on the bottom of my box, and glued it down kind of toward the back of my little foam. I realized this was going to look so much better if I painted the top of my box, so I grabbed my black velvet paint by DIY Paint. It's my favorite black paint in the world, and I just gave one quick coat all around the box top. I took the smaller of those two hoops that was in my little package outside and I gave it a really quick spray paint of my black matte spray paint. And then all it took was just one little bitty dab of glue toward the back of the box to glue this on. And you just hold it for a moment and it will stay up by itself. 
Then I took some golden red table scatter that you get from Dollar Tree. And these little balls are kind of different sizes. There's like a small size in there and it seemed like a medium and a larger size. I just used all the different sizes. And what I did was just glue a few pieces of these together because it's going to be easier to do it this way and then attach it to the top of our little hula hoop than to try to put one on each piece at a time. It's just easier this way. And when I had glued about seven or eight pieces of those together, I glued one in the very back, put a little bit of hot glue on that, and I'm just going to glue that to the very front side up at the top of my hula hoop. These are gonna be balloons. And you can just put as many as you want. If you wanna put a whole bunch, do that. If you just wanna put a couple, do that. It really doesn't matter. It's all your personal preference. Now, once I got those seven or eight little balloons up there, I added a couple of more just to where my eyes were happy. And this is kind of difficult to see, but I just took the little string, like the hanger that comes with those little ornaments, put a little tiny dab of hot glue on the very top of it, and I'm just gluing that to the back of my balloons to make it appear like these are the strings. Now, I didn't add a string for every single balloon. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary. I probably added about five or six strings total. Now, once I got all of my strings glued onto the back of my balloon, I attempted to tie a knot down at the bottom of them, but I didn't do a very good job. The reason being is because my little reindeer is going to be holding this. This pack of reindeer came from Hobby Lobby, and it was half of $3.50, which is $1.75 for four little pieces, and that's a super great price. I'm going to get this little guy that's laying on his back, and he's looking up as if he's looking up at those balloons and just enjoying them. And I was able to just get those knotted together enough to where it looked right so that I could put a little bit of glue on his little paw and attach the end of the balloons to his paw. Then I went ahead and put just a little bit of hot glue on his bottom because he's going to be holding onto those balloons and then the other little guy sitting up and I put a little bit of glue on his bottom. Then I took a couple of poinsettias out of a little pack that I got off of Amazon, and these are in my Amazon store in case you want some. I think there was 15 poinsettia heads for maybe five bucks, something like that, which is a pretty good deal. And they came with little clips so that you could clip them on the back. But all I needed to do was put a little bit of hot glue on the back of each one and then pop it right down into the foam. I ended up using two gold ones and one red right in the front. And then I just had an old bottle brush tree that I'm sure came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to place it right in the middle of that hoop. I put down a little bit of glue on the very back and I placed my little tree down and held it there long enough so that it would hold. Then I placed the tiniest little dab of glue in the center of the hoop to hold on to the top of the tree. I grabbed out my snow paste. It's one of my favorite products of this Christmas season. I have been wearing this stuff out, y'all. I got it from Lori at Milton's Daughter, and I leave her information to her store in the comments and in the description box so that she's easy to find. Lori's an angel, and you guys would love her so much. I get a lot of my craft supplies from Miss Lori, and rice paper, and the DIY paint, and all of the IOD stuff. She's excellent. But I just took kind of like a stencil brush. I like to use that best because I find that it gets that snow paste like in clumps or kind of like, it's kind of chunky when you first put it on, but then it dries down beautiful and it doesn't flake. And I just put some on the top of my hoop and all around the top of my little, where the guys are sitting. Then I had this pack of mini ornaments that I got from Walmart. You get five of them for just two sixty-eight, And I just cut off the tag and I'm going to place it kind of sideways at the very top by where the tree is. And it says, Merry Christmas. And to cover up that little hole, 
it fit like a glove. I found an old rusty star and I stuck it right up there and it looks like it's the star on the tree. I hope you like this one. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. Putting on the show for everybody. Give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing. When December is when the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. The next two DIYs are so fast, if you blink, I promise you, you'll miss them. I'm going to use one of these rounded gift boxes, and I love the pattern on this one, guys. Look at this beautiful reindeer pattern. We're going to use the top and the bottom. I'm just going to take this little uh, piece of twine off there. Like I said, I can use it for later DIYs. And I've had these little birch logs for years. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby, and they weren't expensive at all. I do remember that. Now, what I'm going to do is set the top down, and I'm going to glue these all around the whole area. We're making candle holders with these. Now, I find it easier to set it down because that way you know exactly where your birch log needs to go. I placed that on the smaller one. And then I grabbed the taller piece that had the reindeer on it, and I did the exact same thing. This one is so rustic and woodsy, I love it. And I told you, if you blinked, you'd miss it. Christmas is just around the corner. Coming up just around the bend. Now this last one, I don't even know if I'd call it a DIY. I guess you could say it's just a hack. It's going to be for my grandson, and it's these small little boxes that have like little money envelopes in them. And I'm going to be using my favorite lights. These are called Oliphus. These are in my Amazon store, and you get 16 packs of these lights for, it's either $12.99 or $14.99. It's super cheap, and I love these. I'm going to grab out some of my lights. Now, I have two different packages of these lights. Some of them are a bright white, and some of them are like a beautiful, I think it's called daylight, and these are actually the daylight color. What I'm going to do is grab my X-Acto knife, and I made a tiny little square in the very back of the back of the box, and then I just fed my lights through the back of that box all the way to the end, and I'm going to take my little controller so that I can flip it on and off, and that way it will just light up. By the way, you can make these into little ornaments, or you can do like I'm going to do and just have it to where you can set it up in a child's room or whatever. They're very easy and quick. I put a little bit of glue down, and I always leave the screw side on the top so I can change it if I ever need to. I put glue down the sides of these, but since the box is a little bit bigger all the way around, you only can glue two sides, the top and one of the sides. Then I just used my X-Acto knife and went all over the front of this and created little holes in it and just kind of moved my X-Acto knife around to make little circles so that the light would shine through all the little holes. Very quick and easy, and I know he'll love it. Stars are brightly shining 
It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. Lord, hey, if you stuck with me through this whole video, I just want to say thank you and I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget that my videos are every Monday and Thursday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm not 100% sure if I will have one for Thanksgiving, which will be Thursday. I'm going to try my best. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that little red subscribe button and become a part of our family. We would love to have you and we always have room for more. Also, if you would, please give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out on YouTube. They'll push my videos out there to people who've never seen me before, and I greatly appreciate you guys for that. So I guess that's all there is for now, and I will see you again in the next one. I sure do hope so. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Did you know that you can just click onto my face and it will subscribe you to my channel? You sure can, and I hope you sure do. Also, if you did enjoy this video, there's another one right here that has very similar content. And if you click on that, it'll take you there in just a minute when this one's finished. Love you.